So obviously Cristiano Ronaldo has now left Manchester United and with the injury struggles of Anthony Martial, everything Hog has already made it clear that in January Man United will try to get a striker. He always raised the point that he must be the right player. Now, usually in January there's not many opportunities to make um uh, these type of signings, but this January there is real opportunity for Manchester United and these two particular players. During the summer, Man United did inquire about Chao Felix and they were close to Cody Yakbo but did not make a final bid and chose to invest in Anthony. Now, with the need for a striker, Man United have the option of both. As Chao Felix, um, it's come out that he's having issues with Diego Simeone and he wants to leave Atletico Madrid and he will be for sale in January with his agent exploring options. Similarly, with Cody Gakbo, he were, wanted to move um, before the World Cup and Van Gaal convinced him to make his move after the World Cup. So he will be looking to make a move now. Cody Gapo wants to move to the Premier League and has the same agents of Eric Ten Hag. So the question is, who should Manchester United go after in January? We're going to look at both these players, um, the pros and the cons. Now, obviously, we need a striker. And that's a big thing with both these players because they're both not natural strikers. Xiao Felix... After not getting a run of games with Atletico Madrid, he has regained his form with Portugal. However, his form has been regained out on that left wing spot and Man United need a striker. Now, obviously, we could get Chao Felix and he could play in that role for us or we could let him play that left wing spot and push Rashford out in the striker position. However, I'm still not comfortable with Mark Rashford as striker. I think he just looks much better off the left. And I don't think it's completely out of order for Felix to play in that position. However, he does have a hefty price tag on him because Atletico Madrid paid a lot of money and they want at least 100 million for him. So it would be smarter to look at Cody Gakpo. Because Gakpo, obviously he plays on the left as well. However, for the Dutch national team, we have seen him in that central role. We have seen him in that central area, a large part of the tournament. We've seen um, his goals come from there. Cody Gakpo has played that role. And I think with the build of him, the physical size, his height, his speed, his power, he possesses. I think he can play that striker role much better than Jao Felix in this Ten Hag system. Now, don't get me wrong, I think Felix can be a brilliant player for Manchester United. But when you think about it, um, it would be much easier to negotiate with PSV than Atletico Madrid. It seems that Gakpo is much more suited to that striker role than Jao Felix. 100%. Cody Gakpo will be cheaper than Jao Felix. He could, even if the price for Gakpo has gone up to about 60 or 70 million, he could be about 30 to 40 million cheaper than Jao Felix. Money could be used elsewhere. It could be used it to bring in another fullback, you know, um, interest in, in players like Frum Prong and Dumfries. It, that 40 million could be used anywhere else on the pitch. So for me, it's not just a case of that Gakpo is cheaper than Jao Felix. I think he's more comfortable in that role, in that striker role, than Jao Felix. When Felix has played a striker for Atletico Madrid, he has played it in the two, and he seems more of that like false nine type when he plays. Is that someone that that can drop in and can make things happen? Yeah, it would be nice, but I think Gakpo will have the better hold of play. And he'll just suit us much more. We need someone at that top end of the pitch that with a bit of fire in them, you know, a bit of hunger. And I just think Cody Gakpo is the man 
it's gonna be much cheaper as I said much easier to negotiate um, these agents is the same as Eric Ten Hag and did he negotiate the terms with him in January so for me I do believe Cody Gapo will be the better options over Jao Felix I know the prospect of Jao Felix excites many of you but is Jao Felix really worth 100 million? Cody Gapo just seems like the smarter option and the better option and the more realistic option for a January signing. Now, listen, you could look back at this in years when Chao Felix he could reach some unlimited potential, but the same could be said about Cody Gakpo. And for me, I think the decision should be Cody Gakpo in January, our number one target, because we desperately need to bring in someone in January. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think you wanted know, to bring in? Cody Gapo or Jao Felix? Or is it someone completely different for you? If you guys want to give in your opinions, you want to join the conversation, there's the Discord link down below. This is a decent amount of people in the Discord server. I will start live streaming regularly and you guys can join um, the voice channel and we can just have a conversation about football. So yeah, make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will see you on the next one.